Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and in this video I'm going to be talking about will The Walking Dead end in the third Rick movie? So will the main Walking Dead storyline that started with season 1 episode 1 Days Gone By end with the third Rick movie? The reason I say this is because recently it has been said that The Walking Dead will end with the, th the 12th season and that AMC will be focusing on the spin-offs. Those spin-offs of course being Fear of the Walking Dead which recently started production on the sixth season and should be coming out in 2020. Now I know people have their opinions on Fear of the Walking Dead but let's not give up hope for Fear of the Walking Dead. Personally I like season 5 but there is room for improvement and who knows maybe the sixth season can turn things around. And the other spin-off, The Walking Dead World Beyond, which should be coming out in spring 2020. And we just gotta see how this show turns out, because, you know, this is obviously a brand new show. We haven't had a previous season to go off of, so we just gotta see how this show turns out. Now we also gotta ask, why would The Walking Dead end? Well, earlier this year, the final issue of The Walking Dead came out titled issue 193 the farmhouse now if you know or don't know the walking dead tv show adapts material from the comic book and seeing how the comics ended there's like how much material is left for the show to adapt i mean there's really like two major storylines left from the comic book the show hasn't adapted yet and those two storylines being the rest of the whisperer storyline like the whisperer war and the Commonwealth storyline, which they have already started um, setting up. If you remember at the end of Season 9, we heard a voice on the radio, and in Season 10, Episode 6, Bonds, Eugene started talking to someone on the radio. Now, this is how the Commonwealth storyline began in the comic book, with Eugene talking to someone on the radio. So, seeing how the TV show is doing that right now, this could be set up for the Commonwealth for probably season 11. Another easter egg came in The Walking Dead season 10 episode 8 The World Before when it showed Judith writing a book for the future which might be set up for the ending because if you've seen the ending of the comic book at the end Carl who is an adult by that point is reading a bedtime story about Rick Grimes to his daughter Andrea so that could be set up to that story Judith might tell her child at the ending of the series if the show does end in that way. Another reason why season 12 could be the last season is because if you remember last year uh, Norman Reedus who of course plays Daryl Dixon and Melissa McBride who plays Carol Peltier they signed on for a three year contract which will probably end after season 12 and of course they are the only season 1 characters that are still in the show because of course Morgan is in fear and Rick is in the movies. Also how many seasons should it take them to catch up with the comics? I mean think of it like this let's say season 10's second half does the Whisperer War and maybe the aftermath of that Season 11 is the journey to the Commonwealth and then like the introduction of the Commonwealth, getting to know the Commonwealth and then Season 12 could be the conflict between the Commonwealth and the survivors. Like, it, it kind of fits in line so it, it should take them to about Season 12 to have the comic storyline completely done. So that's another reason why the show could end at season 12. Now, let's start talking about the Rick movie. As I said, AMC is reportedly ending The Walking Dead with season 12, which should mean that The Walking Dead will end in March of 2022. As long as The Walking Dead keeps its schedule, doesn't take any years off like some shows do, and keeps its 16 episode schedule, you know, does the first half in October, does the second half in February. It should end in around March of 2022, 
22. Now, the thing with the Rick movie is, the first Rick movie isn't out yet. Let's say the first Rick movie comes out maybe towards the end of 2020 or maybe even summer of 2021. Already, that meet would put the first Rick movie after season 11, and then let's say it takes them a year or two years for each Rick movie. Because, I mean, like, realistically, how long should it take them to do each movie? Are they going to film them back to back? Or could the second movie would probably come out after season 12? So, if the show ends at season 12, maybe the second Rick movie could be the first, like, post ending Walking Dead story we see that follows the main group of characters and then the third movie could be like the true ending to The Walking Dead. Now here's the thing, you can keep Fear going, you can keep World Beyond going, you can do other spin-offs, yes, but I mean like the storyline with Rick, with Daryl, with Michonne, with Carol, with Judith, with Connie, with all those characters that could end with the third and final Rick movie. I mean, there's so many bits of evidence to kind of show that season 12 could be, in fact, the ending. Season 12 is also a healthy number for a show to last. I mean, like, there's been other shows that have lasted 12 seasons, shows like The Big Bang Theory, Two and a Half Men, and probably others I'm not thinking of right now, but... 12 seasons of The Walking Dead, that is a pretty, you know, good number of seasons to have for a show. And we just got to see how things turn out with that. If the Rick, if the third Rick movie could be, maybe, maybe this is like what they do for the Rick movies. Maybe the first Rick movie is maybe catching up with Rick and Anne. And showing what Rick was doing during the six year time skip that the show did. The second movie could be him and his journey back home. And then the third movie could be the big finale. Maybe CRM versus our group. Actually yeah. How about like we could have the CRM. A big war with the CRM and the Commonwealth. Do you know what, that'd actually be a pretty fucking cool movie now that I think about it. You know, maybe that's what they could do. You could bring in Daryl for the movie. You could bring in all these characters for the third movie. Maybe you could have, like, a big fucking, like, Avenger-style movie. Maybe bring in some of the Fear characters, the World Beyond characters. Fuck, bring in the Webisode characters. Fuck, do everything. Like, have the ultimate Walking Dead crossover movie. CRM versus Commonwealth. Fuck, that sounds unreal. <laughs> well, anyway. If the show does end at season 12, that would most likely mean that the movies would come out after the main series ends. So, it's quite possible that the third Rick movie could be the true ending to the Walking Dead series. Maybe not the overall series, like Fear the Walking Dead will probably still continue, World Beyond would probably still continue, and maybe other spin-offs will get announced and, you know, keep going. But the main storyline that started with Rick would probably end with that third movie. So yeah, that is my video, and I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I should have plenty more videos to come out. We just gotta wait and see, um, you know, I'll probably do more videos on other subjects regarding The Walking Dead, so, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, thank you for watching, and peace out to you guys.